Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 10th. I got the Knight of Swords and the Two of Pentacles reversed, so the Knight of Swords is stressed out. You got somebody here that is extremely stressed out. There's, there's, they probably have overcommitted themselves to something and now they're trying to find balance. Things are unbalanced. They're all over the place. There's chaos. There's no contingency plan. There could be a loss of money or this could be a fallout, um, regrets, stressed out, worried, um, things all over the place. Somebody's bitten off more than they can chew. Uh, They've overcommitted themselves. There's a need to reprioritize. They've been in a situation. It feels like it's interesting because on in this nine of swords, we got not eight swords on the wall and one sword down here. You see it? Okay, I don't know if you can see that sword. It's right over here. My mistake. When I looked at it, it was on the other side. It's right over there. Okay, so one sword is down. Somebody's been dishonest with themselves. Somebody hasn't been honest with themselves. They've been in a situation that they have been trapped in. You know, they've needed to break free from the situation, but they're refusing to take a new approach, right? They're refusing to be open-minded, to see it as it is. So it's causing them a lot of stress. We have somebody here that is needing to make a change. They need to make a choice. They need to let something go. Right now, they got a little bit too much on their plate because they can't make the choice. They're refusing to make the choice. You know, they're staying put in this situation because they can't wrap their head around the truth. Somebody needs to find a way to step out of their current situation, let something go, take that next step, but they're not finding the mental ability to do that. So they're feeling all over the place. This is a, dealing with a lot of ups and downs and having chaos in their lives because they're, they're held back, held back by their own thoughts and their fear. So that's causing the turmoil in their life. So somebody is, is going through a lot of stress because they're, they're unwilling to take a new approach. If you're unwilling to uh, break free from this situation that is causing you the turmoil, then hey, then you're going to continue to have upheaval and chaos and financial burdens and financial losses and imbalance in your life because you have to choose to... Uh, make better choices for yourself. I mean, you have to choose to remove yourself from situations that cause you conflict and restrict you and uh, don't serve you. This is somebody that has the means to escape, but, but isn't. They aren't doing it because they're letting fear, or fear of the unknown perhaps, or something like that. Or they just didn't have any contingency plan, right? This is a financial mess as well. But somebody got themselves into that situation, but they're refusing to take any new approach, so it's only going to get worse. Eight of Swords. Well, by golly. Eight of Swords reverse. I was just, I was just talking about this because that's what I saw. I saw that one sword was down. Anyway, the Eight of Swords is breaking free. This is removing an obstacle, removing the obstacle of fear, removing the the restriction okay we have somebody here that is probably going to be making an escape my nose is i get doing these readings my nose start itching i don't know why eight of swords reverse that's removing an obstacle there's been some sort of lies that is breaking free freedom 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 from restriction somebody has been restricting themselves Crazy. My nose don't itch until I turn the camera on. <sighs> Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Queen of Pentacles. This is somebody that is very stable, hardworking, uh, business oriented. 
hard. There's hard work ahead. There is some sort of hard work ahead. Somebody has a generous offer because that is a generous offer that can help somebody to break free. The devil, the devil. So the devil is tied to a situation. Uh, I don't know, could be dealing with Capricorn. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. Freedom, freedom from restriction. There's strong desires, there's materialism here. There's obsession, temptation. Desiring stability. We have somebody here that has a strong desire for stability. There's materialism here. Somebody may be tied to a situation for materialistic reasons. For money reasons. There's greed. There's obsession. There's some sort of strong desire here as well. Tied to a situation, definitely both those cards, the Eight of Swords and the Devil, breaking free, breaking free. Ten of Wands, Ten of Wands, somebody has worked really, really hard to obtain success. They've tried really hard, really, really hard, carrying a lot of baggage, holding on to something that is weighing them down trying to prove something, but it's restricting them. It's restricting them from something. They're being restricted. Ten of Wands is uh, burdened. Holding on, holding on to something, carrying something, holding on to something that is materialistic, or an obsession. What is this Ten of Wands? Empress reversed. The Empress reversed is a feminine that doesn't take care of things, okay? She doesn't nurture things. She doesn't take care of herself. She doesn't take care of the children. She doesn't take care of the home. She doesn't take care of the family. Um, she doesn't love unconditionally. Somebody may be dealing with a feminine that is very selfish, very needy, high maintenance. Um, this is somebody that can't take care of things, that doesn't take care of things, that doesn't help. You know, this doesn't help. This may be a selfish, overly protective mess, a mean-spirited, self-absorbed feminine, okay? Could be a mother, could be a stepmother, could be a girlfriend, could be a wife. Um, this is somebody, it is a feminine, this feminine, she's not doing anything, she's lazy, she doesn't put in any effort, she doesn't take care of things, she doesn't nurture things, she's lazy, she's, she's needy, high maintenance, holding on, somebody is holding on to a woman that isn't doing anything, she's not doing it, she's not, she's causing pain. Hmm. Not very motherly, not very loving. She may be weak. She may not know her value. Some, we may have somebody here that is holding on to a woman that is weak, that doesn't know her value, that can be controlled because the devil is connected to that empress reverse. The empress in reverse is a woman that doesn't know her value and she acts, she acts out, you know, she, she throws fits. Uh, she's also easy. She's very easy to control. The Empress in the upright, she's not easy to control. Okay. She knows her value. She, she nurtures things. The Empress in the reverse is, is it could be a woman that is easy to, she's easy. She's easy. There's some sort of codependency here. Holding on to somebody that maybe this person needs them. 
This person can't take care of themselves. The Empress in reverse is a woman or a feminine that can't take care of themselves. She can't even take care of her. She can't take care of herself. She can't take care of her children. She can't take care of anybody. Or she doesn't, you know. Very unhealthy. Magician reverse next to that empress underneath the ten of wands. Magician reverse is no success with this woman. No success. Holding on to an unsuccessful, unwilling, unwilling to let go, unwilling to let go. Maybe this woman is controlling. There's somebody here that is very controlling. Very manipulative. The Empress reverse next to the Magician reverse. That's a master manipulator. Somebody that is very skilled at manipulation. May use emotional blackmail. There could be some blackmail here. Master manipulator. Uses sex. Something about sex. We may have somebody here that, you know, uses sex to get their way. Very conniving. Not ace, magician reverse, no success, lack of awareness, impulsive. No success, there's no success. Somebody's not having any success by holding on to this feminine who... This feminine isn't giving. She's not. It's toxic. It's unhealthy. It's a sexual bond of some sort or a codependent bond. Very greedy. Very selfish. It's, it's all about materialism. It's all about the money. It's all it's about. It's about money and sex. There ain't no love here. This woman wants to be carried. She wants to be carried. She can't take care of herself. Knight of Cups reversed. Knight of Cups reversed. Unrequited love. We may have an unrequited love situation here. Could we have a loss of a relationship? We could have a breakup. Knight of Cups reversed. We definitely have a woman that's trying to control somebody with manipulation. She's using manipulation. Maybe even holding money or assets over somebody's head or sex. Knight of Cups reversed. This is like love them and leave them. This is somebody who says the words, but their actions don't match up. The Knight of Cups reversed can speak fluent love, right? I know what to say. Like that, you know, I can say whatever I got to say. But the actions definitely do not match up. This is somebody that is unrealistic that... Uh, isn't really into love. They don't, maybe they don't even know what love is. This is not love, okay? The Knight of Cups reverse. They speak of love, but the actions don't match up. There's some sort of sadness here. There is. We have somebody here that is definitely could be in an unrequited love situation. It's codependent. There's, there's some sort of codependency here. King of Pentacles reversed. Whew. We get the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles reversed. So we have, we probably have a masculine energy here that is unstable, that is insecure, that is losing something of value, probably losing the Queen of Pentacles. It's right under the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is right underneath it is the King of Pentacles reversed. So the King of Pentacles reverses somebody that is focused on everything but love, everything but a relationship, you know, focusing on their money, focusing on their job, focusing on materialistic things. We may even have illegal somebody. We may have somebody that is doing something illegal. Maybe this person is a narcissist. They want a weak woman. They want somebody that's weak.
They're not really looking for a relationship. They're looking for a weak woman that they can control. They can restrict. Somebody has been tied to a toxic situation. We may have somebody here that is learning their value. I mean, the Queen of Pentacles, she's the Queen of Value. She knows her value. She does. She knows her value. Breaking free from a toxic relationship or a toxic connection. Somebody is breaking free from a toxic connection. Maybe they want stability. Maybe they want security. They want something more meaningful. I don't know. There's a lot of lies here with that magician reverse. There's some sort of, we have a very conniving, tricky individual. This is a trickster. It, zero. The fool. The fool is starting over from scratch, leaving it all behind. Underneath the Empress reversed. So somebody is going to be leaving behind a feminine energy that doesn't take care of them. This is somebody that isn't very nurturing. This person is not all about love. They don't give love without <laughs> expecting. Uh, they want to be carried right next to that Ten of Wands. We got somebody, we got a woman or a feminine here that wants to be carried. She wants to have it all, but she doesn't want to give in return. The fool, the fool is, is stepping forward. It's doing something spontaneous. We may have some, somebody that's doing something spontaneous. Spontaneous. They, we may have somebody here that's really in their feelings. Their emotions are all over the place. You know, they haven't been loved. They haven't been cared for. They have a strong desire for something more. Removing a restriction. Maybe it's fear. They're removing a restriction. There's been some sort of feeling inadequate, not knowing their value, being in an unrequited love relationship with this woman. This woman is not, or feminine, whether whoever it is, it's a feminine that is lying. This person is a liar. It's right next to the magician reverse. This person is controlling. fool. The fool is, is like leaving this woman, leaving her in the dust. Seriously. Leaving this unrequited love relationship. It's not love. It's not love. The Knight of Cups reversed is not love. It's not real. It's not solid. It's not stable. Next to the King of Pentacles reversed. Breaking free. The fool. The fool. Stepping into unknown territory. Fresh start. New beginnings. Leaving behind the loveless situation because right behind that is the knight of cups reversed stepping forward stepping over the edge stepping over the edge right three of cups it could be a upcoming get together we may have somebody here that's going to be socializing they're going to be dating they're going to be getting together with somebody having fun Unplanned, unplanned get together. Unplanned new beginning. There is an unplanned new beginning here. Sudden, sudden. Emperor reversed. Emperor reversed. Hmm. No success overwhelmed it's right next to the magician reverse there's been some sort of disorganization lack of control or we have somebody here that's had some control issues there's been some power struggle somebody's been having a hard time letting go of control they've been wanting to hold on to something because they had control they don't want to lose control. They don't want to give up their power. But this is a loss of power. It is.
we have somebody here that is going in a new direction with that fool. It's like stepping forward into unknown territory into some sort of happiness because of the three of cups. We have somebody here that is stepping into happiness. They are. They're stepping into something. Okay. There's been an abuse of power here. There has been an abuse of power. Magician reverse right next to the emperor reverse. Somebody has abused their power. They may have deserted somebody. They deserted somebody or something like that. There's, there could definitely be somebody here that has made a poor judgment call. They've been indecisive. They've been hard and uncaring. They've reached a point. I feel like it's a breaking point. Somebody is letting go. They are. They are letting go. Desire, strong desire, strong desire for love. Somebody has a strong desire for love. To have their needs met and they're with somebody that isn't meeting them. Doing something spontaneous. Somebody's going to be doing something spontaneous. There's going to be an unplanned get together. Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands. That is somebody that is very strong, that has been hurt really, really badly, that has some sort of guard up, that has some sort of boundary up. They're gonna be, somebody's going to be getting together with an individual that has really overcome a lot of hurdles in their life. This person is uh, scared. They're scared. They're scared, but they're going to be taking a chance. This is taking a chance. I feel like we have some because it's right next to the fool. Somebody's going to be taking a chance. They've been in a place of fear. They have been in a place of fear because they've been so hurt, maybe abused. Maybe there's been a lack of love from the parents. We talked about this yesterday. We have the Emperor reversed and the Empress reversed. So there's a lack of, I don't know, we could have mother problems and father problems here. Abuse, abuse. You know, we have the Magician right in between them. There's some sort of abuse. There's some serious power struggles here as well. Lies. Unaware, unaware. Somebody may be unaware that there's a perfect match. We definitely have a perfect match here. We have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, and we have the Emperor and the Empress. I mean, it's a perfect match. Either way you look at it. So, and there's unawareness, there's lack of awareness with the Magician reversed. We have somebody here that is completely unaware that they have an opportunity for a perfect match. But they've been in denial or something like that. There's unawareness because the magician lack of awareness. They're holding on to somebody that doesn't take care of them. Because they're trapped in the situation. They can't find their mental strength to break free from it. But the Eight of Swords reversed, that's finding the mental strength. And that's the first card out. And then the last card out is the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is the perseverance. It is the mental strength to overcome that fear and give something a chance. There's going to be an upcoming get-together. There is. There's going to be a party or a celebration or a get-together. Somebody's going to be stepping into unknown territory. And it does lead to happiness. This is a new beginning. This is a breakthrough, right? This is a new day, okay? This is a new beginning. This is a new life. It's a life-giving energy. So we have a new beginning here. This is a new beginning. This is happiness. Stepping into happiness. And that is the truth because... That is stepping into happiness as well. So we do have somebody here that is going to be stepping into a happy situation where they can just be themselves. Okay, this is a new day. It's a new beginning. It's beautiful. 
So we do have a new beginning here. We do. We have somebody here that has persevered through some sort of toxic situa relationship where there's been some sort of abuse. They've been holding on to it. They have been holding on to it. But this is breaking free, stepping out, stepping out of the comfort zone into some sort of, I don't know, happiness. I think we have somebody here that has felt inadequate. They're holding on to something that felt safe, even though there wasn't any tender, loving care. This is definitely a change. This is replacing that fear with faith and stepping forward with that fool card. So stepping into a new happy situation. Giving somebody a chance. Good luck.